up Holding the blades They're all gunning All running like What did he say? They're all popping them keys Like open the day all right, so apparently this time around you guys beat me to it because I didn't know about this, but I got a ridiculous amount of requests for this plugin, so we made it happen. Let's take a look at Music Hack Master Plan. Here we go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixpass TV. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before we start, please make sure you check out the new website, mixpasstv.com. In there, you will find a lot of new things, all the new mixing and mastering courses on many different genres. You can book private lessons, mix consultation, mix and mastering, and whatnot. If you wanna access the exclusive members only video, click the join button, become a Mixpass TV member. And if you like the content, please consider using the super thanks and support the channel. Let's get to the video. All right, Music Hack Master Plan. This plugin is primarily, I want to say, a mastering slash finishing tool. We have the big loud knob in the center, which is a combination of clipping and limiting, as we know, very common combination for mastering. We have a white knob right next to it to widen your mix, which according to the manufacturer is monocompatible. We have a simple yet efficient two bands EQ with a big wide low shelf and a high shelf that sounds actually very smooth. At the bottom, we have a thick button. This enables an additional saturation and you can see you have the slider that you can go from 100% to zero. We have a clean button with, again, slider from zero to 100%. This sounds very much like a bell around 200 that cleans that range that more often than not, especially if you're not an experienced mix engineer, you can have buildups in that range. We have a multi-button which engages a three-band multi-band compressor. You don't have uh, controls on the attack and release or ratio for each band, but it's also extremely simple to use because of that. You have three sliders and that's gonna be the amount of compression applied for the lows, for the mids, and for the highs. Then we have the smooth control which engages a, an extremely gentle compression, like sometimes it's even hard to hear, but again, thinking about this plugin in a context of mastering, that's what you want. Then we have a calm button with our slider again, zero to 100, which it's there to help you reduce harshness, especially if you push the loud knob higher. Differently from smooth, which is this extremely gentle and round compression applied, calm sound more like it attenuates ranges around 8K or 4K, the areas where more often than not, we have harshness. And then we have a by two button that it sounds like it's doubling up the frequencies that is attenuating. So let's say uh, four, six, eight, and 12, something like that. And then of course you have the slider to control how much of that attenuation is happening. Then we have tape with again, our slider to control it. And this is a very interesting control. As you move the slider, it appears, it changes the curve. You know, tape usually has a little bump at the low end with a little cut right after and maybe a roll off at the top. So as you move the slider, you will hear is not just a static more or less, but it's more like it changes the frequency ranges and it moves a little bit the bump and it kind of shifts the energy by moving the crossover points maybe. We don't know because it's the process is under the hood, but that's how it sounds to me. And then we have the additional saturation. If that wasn't enough, we also have a monitoring section here, which defaults and off, we can dim the level, mono, and then we can bandpass our monitoring. So to simulate Bluetooth speakers, let's say, or a laptop or something like that. Then we have a phone settings to give us a general idea of how the mix is gonna sound on phone and even a N10 simulation, which I suppose it emulates the old NS10. So you have a different picture, a different perspective, regardless how close to actually monitoring on a pair of NS10s is. All useful things, input level, output level at the top, bypass button and very welcome unity bottom so when you process things and you move the loud the width all the saturation the level is automatically compensate and that's what we are going to use for the most part for this example so let's start and see how it sounds now this track here clips at minus eight so i have to go past eight to actually engage and we'll start around there i'm going to engage unity and we'll start clipping and limiting here So you can see 
I'm pushing almost 3 dB of gain reduction in here. I wish I had a, a, a metering on this plugin, uh, maybe next update that shows me how much I'm clipping. That would be very useful. But even looking at the meter right here, I can see I'm probably clipping over 3 dB and you can hear it's pretty transparent. And of course, if I was to not make it unity gain, this the difference would be huge. Okay, but let's start playing. I'm gonna leave this one like around four here. Let's start playing with the other controls. First of all, by the way, we have a resizable GUI, which is very welcome. And second, we also have two faceplate, white and black, to pick from whatever you like. I actually like white very much. It's my default. I also like the fact that you can uh, set up this panel and then make your settings as a default. You also have oversampling here. Let's use four by for this test. The LED color, you can have a cycle, you can have steel, you can have a wave, you can have tonal or rainbow. So that's also really cool. You can see in this case, we have all the lights and the knobs being rainbow. So that's a, that's a really nice touch. I like it. I'm gonna have it wave. Let's start with the EQ. Right off the bat, this uh, high shelf, it sounds very modern, very polished, and you can see I have already engaged smooth and calm to see how much I can push the high end and at the same time uh, smooth out that range. Let's try the low end. Nice, really nice. I love this low end. I knew I liked it because I, of course, tried to plug it before doing the video, but every time I, I use it, I am surprised again because I really like it. They nailed the, the corner frequency and the slope because this is a shelf and it's really pleasant. It's really broad. It reminds me of Pultec with a little more focus. And I'm bypassing and I'm bypassing using Unity. So what you hear is just enhancement and it's not level. I gave it a little bit of width and tried, for example, tape, which is one of my favorite sounds here. Oh, that's nice, that's nice, especially for a mix like this, right? Even if you leave it at zero, you hear that when you engage it, it does what it says on the tin, it tightens the low end, and immediately you can hear the tape roll off at the top, which is very fitting for this track. Even a zero, listen. Man, this thing sounds nice. It, it sounds nice, it, it, it's undeniable. And this is a finished mix. Uh, I really like the tape, I really like the tape. The thick is no joke. Granted that I'm using it with the tape, so probably I should turn one off. But as soon as you engage it, you hear the low mid range actually getting thicker and the saturation comes here very quickly, it's very rich. 
it's not brittle or it doesn't really affect the top end, which I like, but definitely pay attention because at least for this track, we'll try uh, other examples. It comes up very quickly. We test the monitoring functions here. It's nice it's definitely it gives you first of all what the mono button is useful at any given time but the three options at the top band phone and n10 it gives you three completely different perspectives at the touch of a button then if you don't have a tuned room or an amazing monitoring system will most definitely show you shortcomings in your mix let's try some other track so is this the plan of how it goes because if so just let me go It sounds really, really cool and it's so quick. I find myself navigating this very, very quickly and just get a little bit of clean and then try the tape. If it's too much, trying the thick. I think it's laid out really, really well. And you see me, like I haven't been using this plugin for a long time and yet I am very fast. I feel very familiar and very confident in going from one control to another to like rebalance things. Let's keep going. I want to try the multiband, which is always a little bit dangerous on a finished mix, but let's try it. Well, it's definitely, definitely nice. Again, this is a finished mix. It's also an extremely dynamic mix, but uh, I really love the wide. You can hear and feel the guitars coming up from the sides, even at just 1.1 control here. It's really cool. I wanna try on something a little cleaner so we can hear some of the controls better. I still wanna push the multi a little more and get a hold of it. I will leave Unity off for this. Well, the thick is a really cool color and with the tape, I don't think they are 
too much together. I mean, depending on the low end, because they both kind of work on the low end, lower the tape, I want to say, with the bump than the thick, which probably has a wider range, but it's not a bump, it's saturation, so it gets into the low mid territory, but it does it in a very euphonic way, and that's also why the clean is right next to it, like probably cleaning up the 200 range to 20. And again, it's laid out very well because, yeah, you do it, you just hit a little bit of thickness, maybe you go overboard and then clean it a little bit. The multiband compressor, I gotta say, it's extremely subtle. We could try a rock song, which is a little more dense and see how it is. Try to look around yourself. Everything just looks so bad. And what we're living seems to be so wild. But what is good, we gotta change. And what is bad, we're going to free. Oh, baby, trust me, what's a bird to follow? Whoa! What's the meaning of the time you we say? Whoa! You better say it all. Whoa! What's the reason why you look so frightening? Whoa! We're here to say it all. So it really depends on the material. I, I loved the tape on all the other examples before now. Now on this one is a little too much. I like the thick better. So definitely they are, they complement each other, just making it uh, more versatile. Well, I think this is a no brainer. I mean, you really have a bunch of useful, actually useful features in one plugin. And then the cool thing is that you can rent to buy. So if you don't want to pay it right off the bat, uh, whatever the price is, you can rent to buy, which for me is the best solution because you rent it as you use it. Basically you pay a little by a little, which is you know the best solution. And I think it's a very well thought out plugin. And uh, I wanna know what you guys think in the comments down below. This was a master plan by Music Hack. The link to it is gonna be in the info box down below. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below. If you like the content, please consider using the super thanks, support the channel. Go and check out the new website, mixbustv.com, where all the mix and mastering courses are. Click the join button, become a member, access the exclusive content, get mix consultation via email. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat. Lift me up, up, man, take control.